Project Mercury was NASA's first crewed spaceflight program and set out to answer a number of questions about humans going into space. Could we send a human into space and bring them home safely? As the second crewed flight of Project Mercury, Liberty Bell 7 launched on July 21, 1961. Piloted by astronaut Virgil Gus Grissom, the flight lasted about 15 minutes. The mission went as expected until just after Liberty Bell splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean. Things took a turn when the explosive-powered hatch jettisoned prematurely, flooding the capsule in Grissom's spacesuit. Grissom scrambled out of the spacecraft, nearly drowning, while waiting to be rescued. The weight of the spacecraft was too much for the recovery helicopter, and the craft was released, only to sink to the bottom of the ocean. A deep-sea salvage expedition funded by the Discovery Channel set out to recover the spacecraft in April of 1999. The spacecraft was recovered from the ocean floor and returned to Port Canaveral on July 21st, exactly 38 years after its flight into space. Upon its arrival in Hutchinson, the spacecraft was continually flushed with fresh water to begin the long process of cleaning the salt from the entire system. To ensure that all the salt and corrosive elements were removed, every one of the approximately 25,000 parts were removed, disassembled, cleaned, and then put back together. The goal was not to make the spacecraft look brand new, but to clean and preserve it so it would be around for generations to come.